guys, what's going on? It's Tony from Team Divine Pro here, coming at you guys with, well, uh, essay, I think I'll go with Way Schwartz today, so, uh, yeah, I'm kind of in the rush to do some more videos, because being me, the stupid person I am, I decided to delete one of my most viewed videos. If you guys are one of the old subscribers, you would have known my Spectral Duke Dragon build. Uh, yeah, I kind of deleted that by accident when I meant to delete something else. So now... There's just a really big hole in, I just, ah, uh, I don't know, I, it feels really bad. So if you guys know how to recover that, please let me know, because I would love to recover that video, seeing as, do, as I do not have it on file anymore. So, but apart from that, yeah, let's just get, let's stop with uh, me getting worried about that type of stuff, and let's just get into the deck profile. So this is not the completed deck, I did not complete it yet, but I thought since you guys wanted to see it, I might as well just show it off right now. So I will be proxying. I'll just be using uh, Guilty Crown cards, you know. So let's go with right into the deck. So we're using currently... Well, the real deck would be playing technically four of the Azuna Dignified Strength card. So we have four yellows. Okay, hold on a second. I can, I can just switch these out for yellows. Give me a second. Get that color right, yo. You know, just get okay. So, four Azunas, and then I play also. I would play four Leafas, so that would make eight. Now, in Japan, some people play the uh, the Silicas, but I found that I don't have enough space for it, so I've just been playing. Eight and this is perfectly fine considering the card is pretty much a, an amazing boss. Leafa and then Azna like the entire deck is a very good toolbox deck, so it's really easy to search out the cards. You, oh gosh, the glare! Sorry about the glare, guys. It's really easy to search out things like uh, level three, so you don't need that many. And if you see my climax thing, you'll figure out why I say this. So that's eight level threes, level twos. We play five. Uh, one of her. Uh, Azuna, the Flash uh, Azuna. So she's just a really good uh, level 3 killer. Pretty much gains uh, plus 4,000 power and 1 soul if the if it's a battle opponent is the a level 3. So it makes it 12k with 2 soul and it's a 2 1. So it's pretty good. Just a pretty good tech card. Uh, it's been played by, been in Japanese. Yeah, guys, this deck is based around Japanese cards, like the Japanese meta right now. But it's still relevant to my play style and how I would play the deck to begin with. So we have two, uh, okay, this flash, this glare is getting annoying. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, Azuna changing. It's a good card. It gains plus 1,000 if, if another avatar net or net chera attacks. So it's a nine, it's basically a 9k on your turn when you attack, which is actually quite powerful considering it's just a 2-1 cost. So I play two of those at... Although, I have been thinking about playing instead uh, this Elizabeth, because there's a Climax combo with her that uh, you get to pay one stock, and then when the Climax combo is activated, which is the this one for the deck, it could it lets you search your uh, waiting room for two cards, and then add one, add two, oh, sorry, add two back, and then discard one, and she gains 1,000 power, so I'm thinking about putting one in, and then just maybe dropping her one not sure yet either that or i drop her because she may be good but i don't see her enough as it is and then the last card being an extremely hard card to pull as it turns out would be the two lisbeth 4k two two one uh mul level multiplier red so yeah these guys these guys are red Imagine them as red, so that'd be five. We'd be having five right there. So, five, red, 4K, Elizabeth, not Tsugumi. Although, I'm, I'm tempted to play the deck as a mixed deck because I don't have the cards and I feel like playing it. Now, moving on to level twos, we play... Where are my extra cards? We would play four of the trial deck Azuna 
because this card is just all around a lot better. Like, I was thinking about playing this card, but then when you think about it, even though it's an Encore card, this card has the power boost that this card will never get because I don't play Kirito enough in the deck. So I thought that just be, and with all the support boosters I play in the deck, this card is a lot more viable, especially with its stock ability. That's just an addition bonus, but you know, it's good. So play four of these. I play four of these. Then I play, if I could, I would play, let me just figure out where my cards are. Uh, where are they? I would play four yellow Azunas. This, this one is just like the key card of the deck. It allows you to toolbox so hard with all your Climax cards. The Star Splash, it's just amazing. Like... You don't even need the level 0 searchers blues, the, but I will get into that later. So yeah, you play 4 of them. I have 2 proxies because, yeah, guys, if you have 2 of them, just let me know. If you have anything that I've been proxying out, let me know. We could probably sort something out. I will be coming out with the trade binder or something of sorts soon. So there's 8 there. And then to round it up, we have 3 block cards. Yeah, block cards. So these ones are the assist total of 2k, 1k, and then 1k again. 1-0, these are really good, and but the thing about this deck, you do need these, because you do need more blockers than usual, because it's just, like, the cards are kind of weaker than most cards, and you kind of don't always have the ideal boosting power to support it, but anyways, that was 11, this is 1-0s, and now for the, sorry, level 1s, and then for the zeros, we play 16... I play one searcher because I only have one, but also because of the fact that, like I said, there's this card, there's this card, and with the Climax combo, which I run at four, Star Splash, which I just found out the Trial Deck one is also the exact same card, so don't go and just get one of these, so, although this one does look better. So yeah. You only need really one to search out because the entire the entire deck is pretty much a searching because you have five cards that can search and on top of that you can retreat with the retrieves you have like fourteen searches pretty fourteen chances to search I guess if that's like ideal I think but yeah still play one because I'd still recommend at least trying to get set up combos like get searchers or anything or blocks so that that's a good card one of those then you get four. Kirito solo player. It's a 4k when it's the only Chara or uh, character on the field. So pretty much it's good against and against one level. So against Suiciders, it cannot die until I get put out something else. And usually in Waste Wards, you want to just conserve your level zero. So you don't want to spam. And that's another thing I'm going to be talking about in the improving your game segment next time. So yeah, four of these. Uh... I think it's two client. I can't remember his name, but he's a brainstorm, and he gives. He checks the top card, but I, I think maximum he can give is. He, well, he can give a lot of power, but first time it's a uh, when he's placed on, he gives one thousand something. If there's something on the tech, top of the deck, I can't remember its ability. But then the other one is a brainstorm, which is actually really useful as well. But also the fact that it's a two K allows me to hit stuff as well, because if when you see in a moment. There's not a lot of good zeros that I'm using, like, powerful zeros that I'm using, so his ability helps out to counter for that. So that's all for blue. We play three Azuna uh, supports. These supports give, like, it's a 5k to the stuff in front of it. And then when a climax is played, I can pick any ca uh, character and give plus 1,000 as well, so it boosts 15 individually with a climax and that's only even including the climax so that's a really good card so i play three of those it's all for the yellow and then i play one green leafa which gives when it attacks it gives plus 1000 to any character of my choosing which is really good and it also helps out with the numbers for this because i only play five total with her and just playing four would not help so five i'm thinking about boosting this up to two though to give it six but it's really Space in the deck is really tight. And then you play, if I can find one, 
three Suiciders, Elizabeth Suiciders. This one also has an Accelerate to give plus three, five, I think. Two, five. So it's actually really good. It can go up to like four if you want, or any character can give it to, you can give it to anybody. So yeah, three Suiciders, red. And then just to round it up, uh, a card I've been debating on keeping in, because I, well, no, I'm keeping it in, but I just added it in, and it's doing quite well, I guess. Uh, two Silica Brainstormers, rest two, and, like, it's it's dead sometimes, but most of the times, it's pretty helpful in the situations, because it allows me to retrieve stuff from my waiting room, so it's, like, an extra retrieve. So pretty much, like, your entire, so, and also because of the fact that, like, you can ditch you check the top four, there's a chance of milling this, and then you can retrieve it later on. So you have a lot of ways to search your deck and to thin out your deck. That rounds up the zeros at 16, I believe. And then for the, sorry, climax and events, we played two, three, five blocks, which are really powerful, one, one, I think. Yeah, one, one. So you play two of them. Some people play three. I prefer two because you already play these are three and these are retrievable by character retrieves whereas these ones are not so I'd rather just play two of them and let's be honest with all the boosts at some point you have enough boosts so you don't need these anymore and then I play the climaxes aren't done yet because I for I just found out today that this cards a, the trial deck version as well so I only have I thought I only had three so now I have I'd play four of these so let me just get a random card I play four of these, so this is the climax combo with her, and it allows to search out for cards, and it's really good, really OP. And then I, I play four of these if I can find the card. There we go. So four gates as well. Although I am debating on leaving it as it is right now, as a three three, and then putting in two, two silicas two case, because this does give consistency and draw power, and most of the time, I'd rather use this than the other one, but then again, I think the deck can do with just the 4-4, and on top of that, the wind thing is quite good, because I found that, like, you can just wind everything back, and then just, like, kill everything, and win game with through wind, just like the blowback, but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this deck, and, uh, yeah, I apologize if you guys hear anything about the mic, but I have done my best to fix that, and I don't know if it has been fixed, but just... Anyways, I, I do apologize, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, you know, support. Because uh, if you want to see more of this, it, it does take effort and time, and it is hard sometimes to do this, especially at the level I've been doing it at. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Tony from Team Divine Pro, signing off.